there are a lot of Rashad Ritchie fans out there that really wished I would just go away. Man, they'd love to get their hands on me. This especially came to light when I disclosed Rashad's criminal past, including domestic violence and, most hilarious of all, his DUI. One of three, by the way. They told me, he's turned his life around. Well, not exactly. Rashad found out that there wasn't any money in beating your girlfriend or getting nailed by the cops for driving like a maniac while drunk and fleeing the cops. So he turned his attention toward cleaner, although just as underhanded, endeavors. I've disclosed a bunch of them on my channel. So if any of this interests you, just go to my Rashad Ritchie playlist, which contains, get this, 88 videos. I know all there is to know about him. I certainly know him far better than his followers. I mean, just look at his expression here. Who could trust someone like this? You're just obsessed. You've got nothing better to do than criticize such a great man. Yeah, whatever. One of his more devious schemes centered on a fake university he created called St. Magnus University of Science and Research. Now, I've covered this university many times. St. Magnus is not a real university. It was created so that Rashad and his buddies could bilk unwitting foreigners looking for easy online degree programs out of their hard-earned rupees. The university has no real faculty, no real curriculum, and above all, no real accreditation. Well, it turns out we have some interesting developments regarding St. Magnus, and it's good news. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With cold, blunt analysis cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's time for the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Accreditation is always a real sticking point for diploma mills. Some create their own accreditation agencies, while others find accreditation mills that will accredit a juvenile hall's GED program as a college. Another tactic is to confuse website visitors by claiming that registration, essentially the license to operate, is the same as accreditation. In the case of St. Magnus, Rashad claimed that the state of Florida's willingness to allow the university to operate was accreditation. Another tactic is to claim accreditation from bona fide agencies that have never engaged in any such agreement with the university. Don't believe me? Take a look at this from a past screen capture of the university's accreditation page. Now, Rashad here claims that his application to be accredited by QAHE is pending, but that's a lie. QAHE refutes claims of accreditation by St. Magnus University. In a concerning development, the International Association for Quality Assurance in Pre-Tertiary and Higher Education, QAHE, has discovered that the website, and by golly, that's St. Magnus's website there, is falsely claiming accreditation by QAHE. QAHE would like to clarify that St. Magnus University of Science and Research has never officially applied for or been granted accreditation by QAHE. Any claims of QAHE accreditation on the St. Magnus University website or associated materials are completely unfounded and misrepresent the institution's actual accreditation status. So if you're listening, Rashad, let me tell you that using an accreditation agency's logo when you are not accredited by that agency is a big no-no. You see, when you get accredited, they will notify you at that time that you can use their logo in your marketing materials, but not until then. They put in this rule to keep shamsters like you from conveying accreditation where there is none. Gee, I wonder who ratted on St. Magnus to QAHE. PhD investigator and I have been all over St. Magnus's reputation like ugly on Whoopi. PhD investigator has even created a substack devoted to St. Magnus, which I will link in the description below. We're not the only ones. The long-standing online community Degree Info got in the act and even has a thread titled Rashad Ritchie, Academic Fraud? 
those of you who have subscribed to my channel know enough to answer that question. Apparently, the heat got too much for Rashad. In response to the criticism, Rashad embarked on a marketing campaign to overhaul the university's image. We go to Google and we see that it's gone. The university's website has disappeared. This is not just a file missing. I checked all of the subpages for St. Magnus University and they have all disappeared. The university is no longer in operation. Score one for the good guys. Now, if only Rashad would pony up the money he promised those middle school kids. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.